friends, this is Ricky Chadda from Astro Hilo. Yet another transit. Transit of Sun, a planet that signifies in your horoscope, your soul, leadership quality, as well as administrative quality. It is considered a planet of kings, people of high uh, authority, authorities, and people of a high status. As per mundane astrology, Sun is always considered as government, politicians, ministers and so on. This planet is going to take a transit into the sign of Cancer on the 16th of July, having a <clears throat> 1-7 axis <coughs> with Saturn. <coughs> so this planet of <coughs> which represents your soul, politics, ministers and so on will have uh, will be checked by the karmic planet Saturn. Anyways, you all must be interested in knowing what is going to be the impact on your Lagna as per your Lagna and for your moon Rashi. So let's start <clears throat> and we'll discuss what is going to be the impact of this transit for you all. The first sign I shall be talking about is Aries. For the sign of Aries, <clears throat> Sun rules your fifth house and it is taking a transit into your fourth house. Those who are working for government sector will see success, will see growth. This period will bring success for even people who are having their own business. In terms of personal relationship or personal life, you will be very aggressive. There would be energy in you. Yes, you may face some conflicts in your family because fourth house is a house of family, your comfort and so on. If you are planning to buy, invest into real estate, property, land, favorable period for you. In terms of health, you need to be a little careful because fourth house also speaks about medical uh, astrology says your heart. So take care of uh, your cholesterol level, your acidity and so on. Eat the right type of food, do some physical exercise and all is well. Next sign is Taurus. For Taurus, Sun rules your fourth house and shall be traversing or entering the third house. Employed people or people who are working on salary will get a, will get a chance of switching their job or, you, or if you are looking for a transfer, then the transfer is on the card. Basically, I see a change, a geographical shift, a, jo a, a relocation sort of a thing. Business owners will now try to make some new strategies, some plans, introduce some new uh, products in the market and your sales and marketing planning would be very good. You are like, likely to get success in whatever you do right now because sun in the third house always gives you a favorable result on a personal front i say that you will be very confident and you will take some bold decisions your communication may be a little problem and due to your communication there's a possibility that you may speak out something which may hurt people you need to take care of this. You are also likely to go on a short trip, uh, maybe with your friends, with your acquaintance and so on. Third house is about short travels. Next sign is Gemini. The ruler of your third house is into the uh, second house. Yeah, the third is into the second house. I see a salary hike. I see incentive coming your way. 
I see that if you are working for some government projects, then you can expect some gains. Monetary gains can be seen very clearly over here and especially the monetary gains can come from the help and support of your friends. Also there is a possibility of getting back your money which was stuck, you must have given to someone and it was not coming. Yes, you may have some uh, confrontation with your loved ones at home. You may have some problem because sun in the second house always have problem with your eye. You may have some problem with your mouth. So take care of that. Make sure that your eating habits are right. Because if you're not eating the right type of food, then you may land up into a problem. Next sign is cancer. For cancer, sun rules your second house and now it's coming into your lagna, that is the first house. Here, if you are working as a salaried person, then I then you can expect, at least I expect that you know you may get a promotion. Those who have been trying to get a government job or getting into government service, lucky period for you. Business owners will be into a good position right now uh, after the transit. Those who are into the family business will also have a very auspicious time. Those uh, people uh, who are trying to set up or start something of their own will also have a favorable time. What you need to be careful about is your speech. The words spoken. Maybe you are too harsh, too blunt, and you may have a short temper and you may hurt people, especially in the family. You will work towards your goal and you will have an attitude of getting more and more. In terms of health, you may feel a little uh, anxiety, depression, or un uneasiness. Don't worry. This is just 30 days transit, things will be all right. Next is Leo. For Leo, it rules the first house and now it is in the 12th house. Now 12th house is always to do with foreign, uh, uh, no, overseas, foreign land and so on. So if you are working for a MNC, a multinational company, this is going to be a fav favorable period for you. If you are into a business, uh, which, and you have your clients abroad, then this is a good period for you. Also, people into import, import and export also would have a good time. Business owner are advised to be a little careful of your competitors because from the 12th, it's going to look at the 6th house of competitors. They may try to tarnish your image. However, if you are into, uh, especially into import, export, uh, time is very favorable for you. You may also make some travel uh, plans also which could be a little tiring that may exhaust you and uh, that could be like you know you will feel a little low with your energy you may feel low with your energy uh, and stamina therefore it is better and I would advise you that you stick to a proper diet because if you don't take uh, proper care of your what you are eating, then that will uh, cause trouble to you. Next sign is Virgo. For Virgo, Sun rules your 12th house and now it is in the 11th house. 11th house Sun always gives you good result. It's a favorable time for those who are looking jobs in public sector. Business people are advised to be careful don't take too much of risk in your business. Don't do too much of uh, investment because from 11th, it is looking at the fifth house. Stock market, share market is not advisable. In terms of personal life, I would say you will be socializing, meeting new people, making new friends, good. Your public relation will improve. You will be very popular and respected in the society as well. Period is not favorable for people who are into love relationship because sun is looking at the fifth house. So you may have some conflicts uh, with your loved one, romantic partner. Also, I would ask you to be careful 
in your uh, i'm talking about your health your eating habits need to be checked you may face some indigestion or digestion issues next sign is libra for libra sun rules your 11th house and shall be traversing in your 10th house now you will definitely see a quick success those who are planning to start afresh or want to go into a new job this is a good period for you if you're already into service if you're already working there would be increment appreciation for you from your seniors business people will gain reputation goodwill in the market at personal front i i see that the relationship with your father will improve it is if it is gone a little bad you may invest into buying a vehicle during this period because from the 10th sun is looking at the 4th house at the at the same time the 4th house also represents mother so take care of your mother because your mother's health may be affected also a relationship with your mother also would be a little uh, you may have some conflict with her <clears throat> next sign is scorpio for scorpio sun is the ruler of your 10th house and it is getting into the 9th house here on the professional front i see that you will have auspicious time if you are planning to switch job take a new new job this is a most favorable period for you those who are into real estate or into the traveling industry and so on because from the 9th sun is looking at the third house which talks about travel so this is a good time that you will encounter there is a possibility that you may want to and you may decide to do some investment in land maybe for personal use or for commercial uh, purpose in terms of personal life this period is will bring good reputation <clears throat> and name and fame for you you may also decide because sun is in the 9th house you may go to a religious place a spiritual place or uh, maybe you know <clears throat> a pilgrimage next sign is sagittarius sun rules your 9th house and shall be in the 8th house now you know 8th house is always a very risky house <clears throat> on professional front i see that there would be a high uh, risk factor for you and those who are into speculative business business of share market and all you have to be very careful employed people have to be careful in dealing with their seniors you may have some you may have some conflict you may also be the victim of some dirty politics played or some people uh, doing some conspiracy against you trying to tarnish your image in terms of personal life i see that uh, if you are specially if you are into research investigation you are involved into doing phd any research work or if you are working for a company from where you are getting incentive or a uh, commission it's a good period for you you will have a ability to do deep research 8000 is about research getting into depth those people who are also who are inclined or you have the inclination towards occult science this is a very good period in terms of health i would say you may feel a little lack of energy and you may be prone to uh, fever and cold and cough next is capricorn for capricorn the ruler of your 8th house the energy of 8th house is now going into the 7th house now this will be, be, bring a little uncertainty for those who are working into business especially if you are into partnership because the 8th energy is into the 7th you may have a little conflict with your partner even life partner i would say may have some difficulty with the, with the, them also those who are into mining insurance and in, industry uh, will have a better time because 8th house is all about i just mentioned anything which grows under underground and if you are working as a commission agent 
or you are working on incentives. Service people may face some obstacles because of the behavior of your senior. Maybe you will be a little uh, upset the way they are behaving with you. Also, you may feel very disheartened with your partner's attitude, whether it is a business partner or life partner. If you are single, hang on, you still have time. Wait for more 30 days after 16th, things are not in proper place. Next sign is Aquarius, the lord of your seventh house shall be traversing into your sixth house. Now, in terms of profession, I would say this period is very, very much good for you. Especially if you are into a business or profession which relates to banking, financial institution, legal, or maybe you're a lawyer or a judge, or you are into tax department, then this period is going to be favorable. Your business, if you are a businessman, then you have to be very much careful because you will be keen on borrowing money for the growth and expansion of your business. But this may land you up into trouble. So be very careful. Those who are into government service will have a favorable time. On personal front, the period may bring some distance or your relationship with your spouse. Because maybe you will go away from your uh, uh, spouse because of your profession, you will get a transfer. So you will be like, you know, it's time for, for you to part. Eventually you will meet, so don't worry about it. Those who are into love relationship, need to be very, very careful as you may have frequent fights and conflicts with your love. <clears throat> Next sign and the last sign is Pisces. For Pisces, the ruler of your sixth house shall be in the fifth. Uh, here, in terms of profession, those who have your own business, so you have your own business, you, then you may face a little ups and down. There will be a fluctuation in your business. Any kind of investment during this time may lead you in debts. Advice, do not take any loan, borrow or even lend anyone. Time is good for those who are into education sector. So if you are dealing in education, yes, you will definitely get a good job, good deal. Professional front, I see a personal front, sorry, uh, would be uh, favorable for students. So if you are a student, if you are studying, then it's a good time. And if you have just graduated or you have just come out of uh, your academics and you are looking for placements, the placement will be in your favor. Period is also not quite favorable for you if you are into romantic relationship. Because see, the Lord of your sixth house which always talks about enmity and so on. It's a Dustana house is into the fifth. Stay away. Don't get into conflicts. If you're planning to propose someone for marriage or something, wait for some time. Not a good time. Your relationship with your children may also be a bit tensed during this period. So friends, this was all about sun getting into the sign of cancer on the 16th of July. So let's Wait and watch how you are going to, going to encounter this. Opposition of Sun with Saturn also will have a different impact. We need to understand that. If you did like this video, give it a like. No, click on the notification bell icon as well. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't still. Thank you.